I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today I have a grocery haul for you. I did Walmart grocery pickup. I spent $96.86. I actually didn't need a whole lot for our meal plan this week, but um, my husband asked me a couple weeks ago if he could have a few of his buddies over for a game night and he asked if I would make them some uh, like appetizer snack foods. So most of what I got today is either for that or um, just stocking up on some items. So I'll show you what I got from Walmart and then I'll show you our meal plan for the upcoming week. Okay, I think I only got one non-food item this week. It was a shower curtain liner. Um, I needed one. I also ordered a, a, a new welcome mat for our front door, but they were out of stock on it. So um, this was a substitution. I wanted the great value, but when I went to put in my order, um, they didn't have any, so I ordered the stovetop brand, but then they ended up um, subbing the stovetop brand for the great value. So that's fine with me. That's what I wanted anyway, but got that. And then this next was a substitution. I ordered just a 12 pack of Hawaiian rolls and they subbed me four of the four count, which is a plus for me because I got 16 for the same price as 12. So got a couple condiments and barbecue sauce. Um, one of the snacks that I'm making is... Uh, my mind just went blank. Our barbecue meatballs in the crock pot. So I got that for that. Got some ranch dressing. I'm also going to make a uh, crock pot buffalo chicken dip. So I got that. I got a little thing of Duke's mayonnaise. Don't know why. I've been craving pimento cheese, which is kind of odd. I think I've only had pimento cheese like twice <laughs> in my entire life, but I've been wanting it. So got that to make that. I got some celery sticks. Uh, I hate celery. I, ugh, ugh, nasty. My husband loves it. So I got some for the buffalo chicken dip and then some just for him for snacking. Got a couple apples for us for snacking. A couple Roma tomatoes for salads and sandwiches and such. A couple bananas. I got some frozen peas and carrots. I ordered one thing of cilantro, but they gave me two for the same price. So I got that. Some fresh strawberries just for snacking and breakfast. Got some vegetable oil and I got my husband this cranberry apple juice. I am running low on cumin and minced onion. So I got that to replace. And then I just went ahead and stocked up on these. I've mentioned this a couple times before on my channel. I recently discovered these a few months ago and I like this. It's cream of chicken and mushroom soup. If you're new to my channel, it's just my husband and I. And so I half um, pretty much most recipes that I make and a lot of recipes for casseroles and things like that will either call for like two cans of cream of mushroom or two cans of cream of chicken or it'll call for one can of cream of chicken or one can of cream of mushroom soup so I like having this that way when I have recipes you know instead of having two halves of a can left over I just have this one if that made any sense at all <laughs> I got some carrots um, for snacking and for that buffalo chicken dip Got some frozen chopped spinach for Happy's food this week. If you're new to our channel, Happy is our Yorkie Shih Tzu mix. I make his dog food. I always have a video linked to my description box below explaining why I make it and how I make it. So if you're interested, interested, you can check that out. The peas and carrots are for him as well. And then I got some plain breadcrumbs. I got a couple things of uh, like frozen breakfast sandwiches to keep on hand. We don't really make new year's resolutions not that there's anything wrong with it but we just kind of try to make goals that we want to work on and one of them is I'm trying to do better about eating something for breakfast in the morning so I've been like the past couple weeks like I said trying to make more of a concerted effort to eat breakfast so I got these I know they're not super healthy but just things to keep on hand in case you know I don't feel like cooking or um, you know, if we need something quick for breakfast. So I got some sausage, egg and cheese croissants. Uh, those are for me. Got some bacon, egg and cheese biscuits, and then some sausage biscuits. I got this box of mini chocolate dipped ice cream cones. My husband, um, maybe two or three times a week, he'll want something sweet after dinner. And this is perfect to keep on hand because these are the mini cones. So they're small, but it's just enough to where you kind of get that sweet craving out, but you're not eating like a huge ginormous um, ice cream treat. So got those for him. I got some fresh ground turkey for Happy's food. I got some sharp cheddar cheese for a couple recipes. The 
buffalo chicken dip and some other things. Got some sliced Colby Jack cheese, some sliced Swiss cheese, bunch of cream cheese. Again, this is mostly for the um, snacks I'm making for my husband. Got a package of chicken breasts. Got some sour cream, some ham. Um, I'm not sure why they didn't really have a lot of deli meat to choose from this week. So this was pretty much the only ham that I could get. So I grabbed that. I got this cheese tray for my husband's game night. Um, this has got cheddar, Colby Jack, Monterey Jack, uh, or Pepper Jack rather, and then Swiss. So we'll have crackers and stuff like that with that. And then I got some bacon. This is the, it's cheaper. Um, <clears throat> this was the cheapest bacon that I could find. It's because it's the irregular slices, but I'm making some bacon wrap crackers, so that's fine for the wrap crackers. It doesn't really matter. That's irregular. All right, that is everything that I got. Let me show you our meal plan. Here's our meal plan for the upcoming week. If you're new to my channel, although I do list these in day order, we don't always stick to that. Sometimes I move things around or sometimes we're just not in the mood for something that I've made and I'll move it to my next meal plan. Um, so I, I don't necessarily always stick to it by day, but it helps me stay organized and know when to marinate things, when to thaw things, that sort of thing. All right, so Monday night, I have been wanting Pizza Hut, uh, and my husband has been as well, which is unusual. He normally doesn't. Um, he's not a huge fan of Pizza Hut, but I mean, he'll eat it. But anyway, it was just kind of unusual. We've both been wanting it, so we'll order Pizza Hut. And I also have a uh, free coupon. My birthday was last week, so I got like free breadsticks or something, so we'll do that. Then I'm going to make homemade sushi. Okay, so <laughs> the reason this has a heart and smiley face on it is because my husband actually does look at this menu. And crock pot lasagna, I'll kind of explain this more <laughs> in my what's for dinner video. I've made crock pot lasagna one time in our marriage and it was, I think we've been married about three years. And at the time I was working full time and where I was working was about an hour away. So I had a pretty good commute home and we were having someone over for dinner and I was trying to figure out, you know, what am I going to make that, you know, I can just kind of get home and it'll be done. And I looked and seen lots of recipes for a crock pot lasagna. So I made it that night for dinner and I hate trying new recipes. You know, when somebody's coming over to your house, I usually try to stick to things that I've made and that I know are good. But this time I took a chance and it was horrible. Hands down, it is the worst thing I've ever made in my entire life. And it has been a running joke ever since my husband and I always joke about crock pot lasagna. You know, he's like, I'll know, you know, if you're mad at me, if you make crock pot lasagna. I mean, it's, it was awful. And I felt so bad. I was so embarrassed. And <laughs> I actually said to our guests at the time, I was like, y'all, I was like, I know this is awful. And I was like, we can, we can just go to Sonic or McDonald's. And they, you know, they were trying to be nice and we're like, no, 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 it's good. And I was like, no, it's, it's awful. So I did. I told my husband, I was like, go, go get Sonic. <laughs> I mean, it was bad. Um, but anyway, long way of saying that, um, I'd asked if anyone had any suggestions for content that they wanted to see. And a lot of people said, um, you know, they'd love to see me make things that either intimidate, you know, are, tim are intimidating to me or that, you know, kind of scare me. Crock pot lasagna is one of them. <laughs> Not just scares me. It scares my husband. <laughs> But I talked to him about it and he's like, okay, he's like, I'll, I'll give it a try. So that's why there's the heart and the smiley face there is because I know when he sees this on the menu, he's going to be like, what? So I want him to know I'm happy. I love him. He's not in trouble or anything. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully it turns out. I'm using plain chicken's recipe this time and every recipe I've tried of hers, I've loved. So hopefully it won't steer me wrong. Fingers crossed. All right. Sorry. That was really rambly and really chatty. <laughs> Next, we're going to do barbecue chicken wraps. This is another new recipe that I'm going to try. I saw it on Taylor Elmore's channel. I'll have her channel linked in the description box below. Then we are going to try another new recipe, lots of new recipes this week, for Korean beef bowls. This was sent to me by one of you sweet subscribers named Christy. Saturday is my husband's uh, game night with his buddies, so I'm going to do the cheese and crackers, a buffalo chicken dip, crock pot meatballs, bacon wrap crackers, and ham and uh, Swiss sliders. So that'll be good for that. And then Sunday, we're doing a chicken and stuffing bake. 
All right, that is our menu plan. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.